8 Reasons Certain People Never Admit Their Mistakes Mistakes are a universal aspect of life, ranging from inconsequential ones like leaving your morning coffee behind to more significant errors with serious consequences. While errors are commonplace, genuine apologies are not as frequent. We've all experienced both inflicting and enduring harm, understanding the profound healing power of a sincere apology and the pain caused by its absence. Failing to apologize can severely harm relationships and even lead to their demise. Despite the high stakes involved, many individuals are reluctant to acknowledge their wrongdoing. The phrase, I'm sorry, lacks appeal for most, and there's no guaranteed reward for issuing an apology. Despite the resistance, some people consistently avoid admitting fault or offering authentic apologies, finding it challenging to take responsibility for their actions. Here are eight reasons why certain individuals struggle to admit their mistakes. 1. Fear of seeming weak. Expressing a sincere apology to someone you've harmed requires courage, yet in Western society, this act is often misunderstood. Admitting fault is frequently seen as a sign of weakness rather than bravery. Many individuals avoid saying, sorry, due to the fear of being perceived as weak by others. Toxic phrases like, stand your ground, and don't back down, contribute to this perception, equating apologies with submission. However, apologizing is not a surrender, it is an expression of compassion and a demonstration of respect. The ability to acknowledge one's shortcomings demands courage and a sense of security, qualities that emotionally strong individuals possess. Saying, sorry, reflects self-respect and trust, showcasing immense confidence that should not be mistaken for weakness. 2. Fear of retaliation. Individuals who find it challenging to apologize may also harbor a fear of retaliation. This group tends to adopt an eye for an eye mentality, assuming that those in their surroundings share the same outlook. The belief is that acknowledging their mistakes will inevitably lead to reprisal from the other party. As a protective measure, they instinctively steer clear of vulnerability. Such individuals often lack the ability to trust others, and if you encounter someone with these traits, it is advisable to establish and uphold clear boundaries. Keeping them at a distance from significant aspects of your life is crucial, as their presence could potentially cause chaos. While there may be a desire to assist them in learning how to trust, it is often more prudent to leave them be. Attempting to help may prove exhausting, as their journey towards trust, honesty, and vulnerability is likely to be prolonged and arduous. 3. Fear of loss. While offering an apology is generally more likely to retain someone's presence than push them away, certain individuals adhere to a convoluted belief. They possess the distorted notion that attempting to make amends could exacerbate the situation, potentially leading to abandonment. This particular fear stands as one of the most challenging obstacles that hinder people from apologizing. The prospect of losing someone is so overwhelming for them that uttering a simple, sorry, becomes paralyzing. Individuals grappling with this fear require a secure environment characterized by constant reassurance, open communication, and honesty to overcome their apprehensions. If you encounter someone with these concerns, lending support and setting an example can be beneficial. Demonstrating a proactive approach to acknowledging and rectifying mistakes may help them feel more comfortable admitting their own faults. 4. Fear of Imperfection Embracing the mantra, I am human, allows us to acknowledge our occasional lapses in judgment and errors. This acknowledgement signifies an acceptance of our imperfections, recognizing that we are not flawless, yet still hold inherent value and worth. Unfortunately, this perspective on our humanity is not universally embraced. Many individuals find life intimidating, viewing their mistakes as a direct reflection of their worth. Consequently, they resist admitting faults, fearing that such admissions would portray them as less than perfect. Driven by insecurity, they are apprehensive that highlighting their mistakes will repel others. Ironically, it is their reluctance to apologize that may lead to distancing by others. Attaining a mindset where one recognizes their worth and acknowledges their susceptibility to mistakes demands grace, compassion, and honesty. This journey is not without its challenges. For those struggling with these feelings, external acceptance becomes crucial. Offering validation and affirming their love can be a powerful way to assist them. Remind them that mistakes are an inevitable part of being human, and by demonstrating a non-judgmental attitude towards their faults, you encourage a more open willingness to admit mistakes and extend apologies. 5. A desire for chaos. There are individuals who have no interest in seeking help or transforming into someone capable of offering apologies and sustaining healthy relationships. Certain people, such as narcissists, derive pleasure from chaos, reveling in misery, withholding, and misconduct. So, how should you engage with someone of this nature? someone actively creating situations and necessitating apologies while having no intention of extending one? The answer is, you shouldn't. Avoiding individuals determined to inflict harm on others is a prudent approach. 
Just as you would establish clear boundaries with someone lacking trust in others, it's crucial to maintain strict limits when dealing with those who thrive on chaos, should interaction be unavoidable. Ensuring the firmness and certainty of your boundaries is vital, as individuals of this nature actively seek vulnerabilities in your defenses. If they manage to breach these boundaries, they can catch you off guard with an overwhelming amount of drama. When they successfully extract an apology from you for their transgressions, they celebrate the triumph of their manipulative tactics. 6. Obliviousness. Some individuals who resist offering apologies aren't necessarily malicious, rather, they are oblivious. Even when caught red-handed with clear evidence, they might remain unaware of their wrongdoing. When confronted, they respond like deer in headlights, posing potential harm if encountered. So, how should one handle oblivious individuals? Perhaps swerve out of the way. It's important to recognize that some neurodivergent individuals may struggle with detecting social cues, actively working to improve their interaction skills. This consideration does not pertain to them. For others, obliviousness takes a different form, often stemming from learned behavior. Individuals who have been consistently coddled or shielded from consequences develop a barrier of unawareness, shielding them from taking responsibility for their actions. While they may offer apologies under the prodding of guilt, true remorse only surfaces after significant efforts on your part. 7. Stubbornness. When all the aforementioned shortcomings converge, they give rise to an individual characterized by sheer stubbornness. Despite such individuals acknowledging their mistakes, understanding the impact on others, and recognizing that an apology could enhance the situation, they adamantly refrain from apologizing on principle. The nature of this principle remains elusive. If you encounter a stubborn individual resistant to offering an apology, adopt an equally steadfast approach in asserting the necessity of an apology. Challenge them, persist in expressing your needs, and they typically relent once they grasp that their principles of self-preservation are not serving them well, although their inclination to apologize may still be reluctant. 8. Resistance to going first. In certain scenarios, the responsibility for a conflict isn't solely on one individual. As tensions escalate, both parties may engage in actions and utterances that warrant apologies. This experience is likely familiar to many. Someone may provoke you, leading to actions that you later regret. Despite both parties acknowledging the need for apologies, taking the initiative to extend an olive branch requires setting aside pride. While most individuals are willing to contribute to resolution, some adamantly resist taking the first step towards healing. These individuals may even resist extending apologies even when they've received theirs. So, how should you handle them? While it might be tempting to sever ties or express anger, those reactions won't contribute positively if you aim to preserve the relationship. Instead, you can gently guide and show them the way. Once emotions have settled a bit, you might inquire, was there something you wanted to say? This approach helps them to navigate to the, I'm sorry, that might be lingering in their thoughts. They do contemplate it, it's just challenging for them to verbalize. Another option is to address the situation with a calm demeanor, initiating the conversation with phrases like, we need to talk or asking, can we discuss something serious? With a concentrated mindset, both parties can engage in a calm discussion to address their issues. The hesitancy to apologize typically serves as a form of self-defense. Individuals who find it challenging to admit their mistakes often employ this strategy to manage their negative emotions. While they may be comfortable experiencing feelings of anger, irritation, numbness, or emotional distance, sentiments of intimacy and vulnerability are often perceived as threatening. This unhealthy coping mechanism stems from fear, and ironically, it tends to perpetuate more fear. Those resistant to accepting responsibility for their faults believe that even a slight lowering of their guard could lead to the collapse of the protective walls they've constructed. Their concern might hold validity. Without their psychological defenses, they become susceptible to uncomfortable emotions such as sadness, despair, sorrow, grief, and pain. Having avoided these emotions for years, or even a lifetime, they may lack the necessary coping mechanisms. However, embracing these emotions can serve as a catalyst for inner healing. Opening up to others proves therapeutic and empowering, fostering deep positive feelings of intimacy, trust, and connection. The shared experience of these emotions further enhances satisfaction and fulfillment in personal relationships. What are your thoughts? Have you encountered someone struggling to apologize? How did you navigate through it, and what challenges did you encounter? Share your experiences below. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.